This audio recording was brought to you by OpenLibrary.org, an open website for all people who want to borrow books and or buy books of their local library from the comfort of their own home. Again, this is, this is brought to you by OpenLibrary.org. King of the Woods by David Day, illustrated by Ken Brown. It all began early one morning when a little wren flew out into the middle of the forest clearing and found a golden apple sitting on top of an old stump. The little wren landed next to the big juicy apple. She was about to peck it, peck it when a crow flew up and landed on the other side of the apple. <clears throat> I'm the king of the woods, caw, called the crow gradually as he puffed his chest up to twice its size and chased the little wren off the stump and I'll take the apple as my prize, caw. It was silly boast. Even the frightened little wren knew that as she flew off into the trees, but the crow likes to brag. A lot to make themselves feel important in the world and in the forest. Still, it would have been wiser had the crow not bolstered so loudly. For just as he was about to eat the golden apple, an eagle swooped down and knocked the crow off his stump. The crow might be a bully, bully little birds. Little, mm. The crow might be able to bully little bush birds, but the eagle was not having any bragging bird claiming to be the lord of his forest. <coughs> I am the king of the woods, screamed the eagle. Perch on the stump in the clearing and I will take this apple as my prize. But even for the eagle, it would have been wiser not to not have bolstered so loudly. For just as he was about to pick up the golden apple, it was with his talons, a wolf rushed into the clearing. Seeing the fierce animal running towards him, the eagle fled off in a huff. The eagle might be the king of the birds, but the wolf was not having a bragging bird claim to be the lord of his forest. I am the king of the woods, snarled the wolf. Stand next to the stump in the clearing, and I will take this apple as my prize. But even for the wolf, it would have been wiser not to have bolstered so loudly, for just as he was about to take a bite of the apple with his sharp fangs, and canine that is, a bear rushed into the clearing, seeing the fierce beast running towards him, the wolf flat off like a scared puppy. Roar! The wolf might be the master of his pack, but the bear was not having a bragging dog claiming to be the lord of his forest. Roar! I'm the king of the woods, roared the bear, sitting next to the stump, clearing, and I will take this apple as my prize. Roar! But even for the bear, it would have been wiser not to have bolstered so loudly. For just as he was about to grab the golden juicy apple with his paws, his, his big pudgy paws, a bull moose rushed into the clearing without notice. Before the bear could even react or move, the, mi the mighty bull moose scooped him up like a puddle of like, like a snowball in his huge antlers and threw him aside into the air like it was nothing. Their bear might be might be a terror to other animals, but the but the bull moose was not having any bragging beast claimed to be the lord of his forest. I am the king of the woods, bellowed the bull moose, standing next to the stump in the clearing, and I will take this apple as my prize. This time, nobody else entered the clearing because the bull moose 
really was the biggest and strongest animal in the woods. The bull moose was so sure of himself that he bellowed, bellowed even more loudly. He bellowed even more loudly. Is there anyone who dares to challenge the king? All was silent. But just as the bull moose was about to bite into the juicy apple with his rusty, rigid teeth, a shrill little voice peeped up. Oh, challenge you. It was a little wren from before. Who knew? The other animals could not believe their ears and or eyes. If the boomers had not been such a grumpy beast and an arrogant one to that factor, he probably would have laughed in the face of the little wren. Instead, he snorted and pounded the earth so hard that it shook the branches of the trees. Then the bull moose charged straight at the little wren. In return, the little wren charged straight at the bull moose. These two titans were pretty much furious and pretty much hoping to get the chance to bite into that golden juicy apple. Just as they were about to collide, the little wren flew right up to the bull moose's soft nose. The bull moose stopped in his tracks so hard that it left marks on the ground of the grass. He shook his head until his ears flapped. He banged his nose on the ground that shook his own very being. He rattled his antlers against some spanglers, but he could not get the little wren out of his nose. The bull moose got madder and madder at the little at the at the red picking away with her sharp little beak and claws, or we like to say talons, inside of the of the big moose nose. The bull moose became so angry and so belligerent with more rage in his own mindset and eyes at that factor that he charged straight into a to the biggest tree in the whole forest, going full force to the speed of sound. Sadly, it didn't work in his case, and knocked him, him he knocked himself out cold. While the little anim, while the animals pretty much chuckled and sneered at the bull moose failure, they pretty much saw the little wren jump out of the bull moose nose. I am the king of the woods, chirped the little wren in her bolstered voice as she stood on the stump in the clearing, and I will take this apple as my prize. No other animal dared to approach. All about the all about the clearing. They watched in silence and pretty much in disgrace. While the, the mighty king of the woods or queen of the woods climbed up on top of the golden apple and ate her lunch. The end. Audio advisory. I have ad lib and or added more context and or elements to the stories you're listening to, such as King of the Woods. Since King of the Woods is an old book, I pretty much added more content and or subtlety to what's going on and give you more better imagination of the King of the Woods or any other book I might read to you in the near future.